Namaste viewers, welcome to this week's episode of Himali Spiritual Center brought to you on ITV Gold every Thursday from 7.30 p.m. to 8 p.m. Himali ji, namaste. Namaste, namaste Lakshmi. How are you? I'm good. I want to wish you a very, very happy love Panchami, which is a very auspicious day today. Uh, those of you know, you know it is today's Lakshmi Ma's day. Right after Diwali, we mm. say Slab Panchami, means anything you do, you get it benefit in five times. Really? Yes. Yeah, so if you usually people start work these days, people start uh, buying house, people mm -hmm. usually um, go to the accounts, put deposits in. Today is a day that you can start a new job, open up a new business. It is one of those auspicious day comes once a year. Oh, wonderful. So when I get home, I'm definitely going to go to the altar and, and make and pray. some prayers. Yes, pray to Lakshmi Ma. Everything that I want. <laughs> yes, everything you want, good things. Because today you pray to Lakshmi Ma, she will give you in five times blessing. Oh, wow. Love Panchami. Well, viewers, all of you at home, you know, today is a great day. Like Himalaji said, go to your altar, pray, start, you know, start. Light a Gidia and pray to Lakshmi Ji. Those of you who are having financial problem, who have a little, you know, uh, things on saving, even if you feel that it's too late, you can go to the ATM and make a deposit, even like a small amount as $100, $10 in your account. And Ma says that she will give you barkat and saving. This is today is a very auspicious day. Oh, wonderful. Thank you for all of that information. I'm sure everybody's going to rush right after the show <laughs> and go to the bank and, you know, try to do something. I know I am. So, well, Himali, do you know Diwali? passed you know so many holidays have passed but we have more holidays coming yes. right we have Thanksgiving next Thursday as well as Christmas coming up but you know the COVID cases are coming back up I mean a couple months ago when COVID had started we spoke about COVID we spoke about you know a second time around and you know did you think we were gonna have a second trial and you said yes you said Lakshmi definitely it's gonna come back around towards the winter time. I think you said you're thinking it's gonna stretch into 2021, March, April. And um, we are here today. We're the numbers are going right up and I guess the callers are coming in right away. Hold on. Thank you for calling Himali Spiritual. Your name and your date of birth, please. Yes, it's Avinash. Date of what is October 2nd, 1942. Avinash, what's your last name? Sawney. S-A-W-H-N-E-Y. You got it. Okay. And what is your question today for Himal? My question is that I'm trying to sell my apartment in India. So what does she say? Will I be able to sell it soon or not whatsoever? Where, uh, where were you born, Avinash Ji? I was uh, born in Aftabad. Himali ji, how are you? Uh, namaste. I think I recognize you. How are you? I am fine. Good to see you. Good to hear from you. I am a teacher. I am a teacher. Thank you. Yeah. So, your uh, um, apartment is in uh, Gurgaon. Mein. Gurgaon. Delhi, mein, correct? Yes. 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 Yes, close to, I think, yeah, Gurugao. Wow. Because, uh, look, if COVID doesn't happen, it will be too big. So, now wait kijiye. next year, after, I think like June, July is very good time. You will be able to go there and you will be able to sell it. Right now, it's a little difficult. It can be sold, but definitely by June, July, it will be sold. Oh, thank you, thank you. Love you, love you. I love you too. Take care, bye. Mm -hmm. So exciting. Bye. Well, you, you said today is the day, right? Yes. You know, so today's her day as well. So we were talking about the COVID cases has rise. You know, we're, we're seeking, seeing a second wave. And, you know, recently the, the mayor, the governor, everybody's talking about holidays and making sure you're not around too many people. Thanksgiving is next Thursday, where usually families gather in large numbers. Yes, that's I was telling you, Lakshmi, is one of my favorite uh, festival holiday that I love to celebrate because mm -hmm. you get you usually get more than 20 people over. But this time you need to have at least 10. And it is okay. It doesn't mean you have big people, you are thankful. The most important 
is that you be thankful for everything that you have. You could be just small, just you and your children, or even yourself if you are going to be home by yourself because certain people have a lot of health condition and they don't want to go out. They're just going to stay home by themselves. And that is okay too. You can get yourself whatever me, uh, you want to eat, prepare meal a day before or get everything. And you can. the main thing is that day, I also believe that you should light a candle or a Gidea and you should thank Bhagwan, thank Ma and thank this, uh, you know, Stan Devta, means this master, this country's land master for giving you any, everything that we have been getting in this um, country that we've been here. We came from, you know, different, different countries or uh, different places so that we could have a better life. So I feel you should thank and I was thinking uh, to my husband yesterday and I was telling that when you see, I was watching the news in Texas, people were lined up for miles and miles yeah. and miles to get food. And I was saying we have so much to be thankful for that we could be able to just line up for a little while and buy our own food and not actually line up to get food for donation. So there's so much you can be thankful for. And if you feel you can be able to give somebody some food, this is the time that you should do so that somebody else can get a meal too. Okay. Thank you for calling Himali Spiritual. Please state your name, your date of birth, and uh, where you were born, please. My full name is Mark Amrit. My date of birth is June 12th, 1975, and I was born in Wiesbaden, Germany. Germany. Okay, and Mark Amrit, what is your question today for Himali G? What was I like in previous births? That is a very, very deep uh, question mark. I'll have to go through, you know, I'll have to know your time. I have to see a picture of yourself. Then I will be able to tell you in very deep, like what were you in your past life. But for you to be interested in spiritualism, which means you must have been a very spiritual person or a very religious person or a good person in your past life. So I could always say that you were a good person. I believe if you're born as a human in this life, we must have been a good person in your past life. Okay. Okay, but you'll have to come and see me for that. That is a very deep meditation I'll have to do to see. Do you have a general uh, question, like a, a, a different question for her? Yeah, uh, yeah sure. What's, uh, what's my future going to be like? <laughs> <laughs> this guy wants to know his past, his future. No, okay. Mark, you had a little difficult time and, it, mm -hmm. you know, do you believe in spiritualism like people do things? I, I guess. I mean, I, I, yeah, I guess. Yeah, yeah only I'm, thing I'm I'll tell you, you're very, you, you're very stubborn person that I will tell you. You can't, you have to believe it yourself and you will, you know, you're very hard-headed, stubborn, but you try to adjust, you try to be flexible. The things that are happening that I feel is got to do with some spiritual because you are a very um, intuitive person. You feel a lot of things before it happens. You know a lot of things. You do have a spiritual block that I feel when I'm talking to you. You need to remove that. Then everything will be good for you. But you can come and see me and I will tell you because you ask for a question. It is not a specific because you're looking at overall of your life. So if you have a yeah. time, I'm in Richmond Hill. You can come and see me. Okay. Okay. Would All you right. Would you like the um, office number? Yeah, sure. What's the number? It is 718-887-2929. And she's located on 131-14101 Avenue in South Richmond Hill. Okay. Okay. okay see you. Bye. Thank you very much. You're okay, welcome. Bye. Bye-bye. Thank you for calling Himali Spiritual. Please state your name, your date of birth, and where you were born, please. Okay. Seems like we just got disconnected, guys. If you are trying to call in, the number here is 718-784-8555, extension 108. The lines are a little busy, so be patient and hold on, and Himaliji will get right to you in case you don't get her 
here because the show is 7.30 to 8 p.m. You can always call her at the office, which is 718-887-2929. She's conveniently located at 131-14101 Avenue in South Richmond Hill. Himalaji, it was interesting that Mark wanted to know about his past life and his future life. He wasn't too much of, you know, what's going on now. So you can tell people about their past lives, like what they were in their past life? It, it, most people, yes, especially if they are very deep spiritual and they feel like, okay, I want to know what happened in my past, like they think, then yes, you can go through them. A person who's very, you know, like practical saying, no, I don't care, then it's very hard to go through their past because they, wanna, they don't want to know. But the one who wants to know, it is, uh, it is possible to see what their past was. You know, sometimes you watch movies and, you know, people and, you know, the actors will be a character that says that they can remember their past life. Do people, are yes, there people there, that are, there are, Yes, there are. Definitely, we have seen studies in children, young children more than adults, that they will, uh, when they start talking in a certain age, they get to be like five or six, they start talking about a whole new family or where they've been. I mean, this is a kid which is five years old, hasn't seen anything on the news or hasn't read about it, and is talking about a family. Literally, they will take you to a place that they thought they were born and the family in detail. It has been documented, yes. So it does exist, past life does. Uh, certain people do, I mean, we can talk one day on the sh program, um, that they do come back to fulfill their wish and desire mm -hmm. here. But going back to the crisis that we have here, I will urge everyone, yeah. please, please, do social distancing. And if we be far today, do social distancing, we wear masks, tomorrow we can all be together. Together again. Yeah. And it's only, look, the, there are countries like, you know, where this viral came from, China, they're already ahead of us. I mean, I know they're more of a um, control country with the population higher than ours, but the, governor, uh, the, the government is, uh, is a little communist, so they, they control the virus already. But we're, we have the freedom of speech, we have the freedom of everything, and we can't control it. So I really, really urge people, because this is an individual effort that we have to do, please, please wear a mask now. Winter is here, so it won't be hard for people here on the north of the countries because we are cold, so we can you know, wear a mask, we can glove up, and we can go. The people in the south is really difficult, but still, we have holidays coming. Please, please keep it very small. I know we are used to, especially in New York, we're used to large, huge families coming over and extended friends and family. This year, keep it very, very small and minimum, especially if you have a mother or a father who is old and who has little uh, you know, health issues, difficulties, try to stay away from them. Do FaceTime. We have a great right now iPad, laptop. You can do FaceTime. You can see what each other's doing. And there's a lot of things you can, you know, entertain and engage yourself. Like my, um, I have a godfather and uh, he's little old. So I will definitely make sure that, you know, I drop off food, everything that I need on his doorstep. So you can do that too. You can feel like, yes, we celebrated together go drop off food, drop off things that they might need, you know, essential stuff, let them stay home, you know, keep, keep them safe. So it's very, very important, please do our part. As we can do our part, then the country will come back and turn around and everything else will be back to normal again. Yeah, I love your point of, you know, you, we may not be able to see each other today, but if we practice the social distancing, from you know, time to come in the future, we'll we all be together. Be to be together, you know, I just have a, a curious question for you because I know you mentioned that you love Thanksgiving. It's one of your favorite holidays. On Thanksgiving, Himalaji, do you make Indian food or American food? I make depends who's coming. Like um, mostly, all my people who's going to come is going to be vegetarian. Like my guru is coming, so I'll make uh, Indian food because as Indian people, no matter how much you eat. At the end, you look for your dal and roti. <laughs> he said, where's, my, where's the dal roti? Till the dal and the roti is not done, the food is not it's complete. Not there. Okay. So yes, I will have like appetizers like cheese and crackers and, and little things that I will make like pakoras and uh, string beans and things. But then you need to make your dal roti too. Your Indian food too, okay. Well, it's mostly is to give thanks. 
It doesn't matter. A lot of people say, oh, I'm, uh, oh I don't eat uh, turkey, I don't eat chicken. That doesn't matter. Mm -hmm. It's for you to be with your family and give thanks to Bhagwan for giving us any, everything that we have in this world. Wonderful. Now, I know you do a lot of um, programs at the center. I, you do pujas, you do hawans. Do you do a Thanksgiving hawan or puja? No, we usually tell everyone stay home okay. and pray. This is one day that I tell them don't. Uh, you don't need to uh, do anything, but thank the you know the universe shakti. Thank the uh, the shaktis around us. Remember, uh, Lakshmi, we have energies. We call them energies. We call it shaktis, good angel, bad. We have it around us all the time. Mm -hmm. So we need to be thankful. Thank them for uh, everything that we have. Okay. I have a question coming in from someone who texted me, Christian Singh. And Christian wants to know, it's a general question. He says his kids are back home again from school because the schools are closed again. He wants to know how long are the schools going to be closed for? I feel they're going to keep it way into next year. I'm so sorry, Christian. I feel this is going to be not going to come in normal till March, April. After that, you will start seeing slowly, slowly things back to. So I will say um, school will start going back from e after Easter, hopingly they will start. And then next year, we're going to pray to Ma, to Bhagwan that from next September, everything goes back to normal for children. But a lot of kids, it is very difficult for parents and for kids too. This is, will be the second year they stay home. And a lot of kids do go through depression because remember, they cannot spe play. They cannot get that energy out. But you take them to the park. It is very important that kids do go out and do a lot of running around because it will make them uh, laugh and happy so that they won't feel depressed and sad. Wonderful. Um, question. In the news, we've been hearing a lot about homeless people and homeless people being a little bit hostile, pushing people into the train tracks. I mean, what what can people do about this? I mean, what's well, going to happen to all the these people that are homeless, they're losing their jobs because of COVID, and they're ending up in subway stations, and according to the news, they seem quite hostile. Some people are because they genuinely are. I don't think it's because of uh, COVID they became hostile. They genuinely are uh, mad with the world or something within them. This is why I urge p parents to put, you know, Bhagwan in every, even God. It doesn't matter if you're, you know, Hindu, Muslim, Sikh, Christian. You need to have the love of God and give them the strength because at a difficult time like this, you feel you will overcome because you have God inside of you, Bhagwan inside of you. You feel like, okay, I'll pray, I'll overcome this moment. When you don't have any faith inside of you, then you become like this. You become like your world is black and white and you have a dead end, you have no hope. Then people do extremely negative things like they're doing right now. And I feel there are so many things out there. You don't need to go out to be homeless. Uh, there are certain places, you know, they do have government help that you can get to get paid pay to pay rent, uh, mortgages, they're not going to come and throw you out. There is, a, there is a system going that nobody can evict you, do anything till January. So if you are fallen back on your rent, you've fallen back on your mortgage, see how you can get government help because I'm sure we have a great government who just coming in, will be able to have some kind of stimulus check for people to help them. I do see promising hope. I do see positive things happening next year. So please just hold on and see if you can help each other in this crisis time. You know, family get together. This is so important that you have family um, a tightness. This is why it's very important you have friends and family who could help you at this crisis time. So even let's say you do get out of, your, you know, you're not home, you decide not, then you will have friend or family, someone to live with. So it, it is, I mean, there are a small amount of people. We did go through a really difficult time, Lakshmi, in 2010, if you remember, mm -hmm. uh, people were living in tents and then they were having so much difficulty is then uh, uh, Obama, he and uh, Biden had a stimulus uh, uh, fund out for people to have housing. 
So I'm sure this government will do something for our nation again and we will overcome this difficult time. But if you have the foundation of God and Bhagwan inside of you and Ma, I feel you will be able to overcome everything, anything and everything in life. Remember, this is a part of life we go through good and bad. Mm -hmm. This is a crisis that the whole nation, the world is going through. Sometimes some people are only themselves are going through. Let's talk a little bit about single people who are living alone and, and experiencing depression. What is your advice to those people? Try to make friends. It doesn't mean like, you know, happiness comes within yourself. So nobody can make you happy. So try to see if you can make one or two good friends. You don't need like hundreds of friends or thousands of people to make you happy. And if you start doing Simran, you start praying, you start meditating, you will start enjoying yourself and you will be able to be so busy with yourself that you won't notice that, oh, I'm not missing anybody. Usually 90% of the time, people want other people to make them happy. Even in relationships in you know, significant others, you want that person to make you happy. And that other person is also looking for you to make them happy. Mm -hmm. So it, happiness starts, I always tell people, happiness starts within yourself. Because when one day somebody gets angry, irritated, my son was telling me, mom, why is he always angry? I said, well, that's all he has inside of him to give you. So if you are a happy person, you will only have happiness to give people. If you, are, if you are depressed and sad, you will only have that to give to people. So if you are looking for someone to give you happiness and they're not, it's because they don't have it in them to give it to you. You start within yourself first, giving yourself happiness, start loving yourself, start spending time with yourself. And you will see that before you know, you won't feel alone. Mm -hmm. Wonderful advice, Himaliji. I also want to talk about, let's talk about parents who are working from home, but are also trying to be teachers with the kids that are home. And they're having, you know, a little difficult difficulty balancing working at home and also having your kids at home I, with I'm you really all like, the time. <laughs> I, I am so... Because I know, have people ripping their hair out. I do, and I, I, ha I have to say, this is one situation, thank God my son is 25. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think I'll be able to handle it, but, you know, I do give parents a lot of great, because there was a time that they can go to school, and they say, okay, you know what, I didn't have to deal with it. Mm -hmm. If you can really, you know, uh, afford it, Try to see if you can get a babysitter for a couple of hours. It will mm, really, really that's help you. Really great advice. Yes, try. There are a lot of people who need job. You are working from home. Don't think about okay. You know what? I'm working from home, so I'm saving that money uh, for traveling and gas and all that. If you can, try mm. to get a babysitter for a couple of hours. And let that ba your children be there is fine, and you can monitor the babysitter, and the babysitter will be able to help whatever much of he or she can do. Plus, you are helping that person. You can tell them, hey, I can't afford to give you 40 hours or eight hours. I can give you a couple of hours. What would you like that? That way, you know, somebody got a job, you help them, and plus, you got a break too. So if you could really do that, try to get somebody. There are a lot of people out there who doesn't have a job and they would love to do a couple of hours so they can get a get couple of you know, dollars. If you could do that, that would really help you. Yeah, I mean, just listening to you, I, I can already feel the peace of mind a little bit. I, <laughs> I've had, I have a lot of friends who have children who are in elementary school and they are pulling their hair out. Yeah, I have I have a lot of, uh, they all call me every day and say, Guruji, what do I do? Because I tell them, you know, if you can, get a babysitter. Yeah. You know, if you look at it, maybe, th um, you know, $30 a day, or I don't know how it works, but find out something and tell them, you know, hey, I can't afford a lot, but I can give you a couple of hours, it will help you and it will help them. Yeah, so those of you who are watching at home and you're at home now with your, your kids, you're working from home, so it's not really, you know, common, normal for you to be balancing working and taking care of the kids. You know, nine to five, usually they're working, the kids are in school. This is a great idea. Find, you know, a, a babysitter, find somebody that can, you know, watch the kids for a few hours so you can get a break to do your work. Well, so a lot important. of, um, also, a lot of kids 
who just finished graduated college mm. and they want a couple of uh, hours you know to work because they can't get summer job or they can't get job where they want in their field those kids will be great too they can help them do the homework do their things and will be out so there's a lot of kids who graduated last year and the year before or haven't been able to put themselves in a place and they can't go and job usually they used to all be able to get it in a um in a, the clothing store they can go to macy's they can go to the mall and get a job for a couple of hours and say hey i want to do a couple of hours so maybe you can look at those if you have any cousins if you have any friends and uh, kids or anyone that you know that has children that you would want them hey you would help them with the school work uh, be the teacher for them a couple of hours uh, and uh, help you out that will be great too yeah great advice you know, Himalaji, a lot of parents are worried that their kids are going to be kind of left behind, whether it is with social skills because they're not able to see their friends today or just, you know, basic learning because they're not really grasping the stay at home classes. I feel um, everyone learns in a different uh space everyone learns in different ways but i feel that once they get to a certain age they'll all catch up with each other and it, it, the kids these days are very bright intelligent and i feel like they will i know we did uh we do have two three month you know we we didn't do it in the beginning of the year then summer everybody went crazy and now we are gaining a lockdown i feel another couple of maybe six months the most and then things will start improving so i feel the kids won't be so bad and so left behind i feel like they will be able to catch up now do you think it's too much screen time i mean there are times when you know families would say you're on your phone too much you're on your ipad too much but now the kids are on the computer all day for yeah, school. Yeah, so I feel like if they're doing all day on the, on the computer and they're all day there, so and after that you have to give them a break. You have to tell them, no, let's do something. You know, uh, mommy and daddy, we fin I finished my work, I'm done. You guys finish school, let's do family time together. And maybe this is a great thing you can all teach your kids and say, you know, let's pray together, let's light a candle together, let's light dear together, let's pray to God. This is a difficult time. We, if we pray, it makes us a strong stronger person because our faith becomes stronger and we believe there is Bhagwan, there is God will be able to overcome this difficult time. So use this in a positive way to put some, you know, roots in your children so they become also strong and positive as they grow up. And leading by example as yeah. well. I mean, I, sometimes we find parents that say, get off of the phone. But then the parents are on the phone. Yeah, the so parents are really need to also spend time with their children and make the children uh, really first. And this is what my mother told me. Oh, when you have your child, it's not going to be about you. It's going to be all your time will revolve around your child all till they doesn't become, you know, he or she doesn't become big. So I have seen this and I tell people, you know, if you think you have a little uh, free time, it's only when they're sleeping. Otherwise, I'm for, you like it or not, your life should revolve around your children till they become 18, 19. Even then it doesn't. You still need to keep an eye on them. But you get a breathing space. These are the kids I feel like they do really well. And we have that in our um, uh, Indian uh, culture that we keep it very knit tight with our children and make sure, you know, they go to school, they do homework and they're always ahead of class. So I'm not really worried about those parents uh, who really spend time with their kids. They usually do. This is really great. I feel like those ones who haven't, please start spending time so that your children can learn. This is a great time for you to spend your time with your children and teach them things that your parents taught you. Yeah, I mean, at this time, I, I think a lot of parents are getting to spend extra time yes. with their kids because they are working from home and the kids are going to school from home. So they spend a lot of time. I want to say a special hello to my aunt Lynette in uh, Lynette Prasad in Florida. She just logged on on Facebook. And I just want to remind everybody who's watching on Facebook, go ahead and share that link. We are on ITV Gold, 7.30 to 8 p.m. every Thursday. You are able to call in with a question for Hemology every Thursday from 7.30 to 8 p.m. If you'd like to call her privately, the number is 718-887-2929, and she is located in Queens, 131-14101 Avenue in South Richmond Hill. And again, the office number here is 718-784. 8555 extension 108 
but keep that number for next week. Himalaji, next week is going to be Thanksgiving. Are we going to be here next week? Well, Thanksgiving, I think the studio is closed. Ah, yes, holidays. It's holiday, so it's a Thursday program. I think they most likely will repeat this. But I really, really want to wish you all a very, very happy Thanksgiving. And I ask Ma and Bhagwan to forgive us for any mistake that we have done so that they can bring back this world the way we had it and how we used to take. This is a time, I think, Dartima is telling us you took advantage now is our mm. time to uh, give and say we appreciate everything that we had that we didn't appreciate it Ma Bhagwan and please give us the things that we used to have and we didn't appreciate it with that I wish everyone a very very happy week and a very happy Thanksgiving.